Oh, that's what we need. 32-year-old poo. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the G1 Ape Face. So here we are, and there he is. And usually, first and foremost, I would take a quick look at the packaging, but I don't have original packaging for this dude, but I do have a, uh, a can of Friskies cat food. Chicken and tuna. Meow. Kitty kitty mew mew. So moving right along, here we have G1 Ape Face. And we're not doing a Friday G1 fun day, we're doing a Tuesday G1 fun day because this is my house! And I do what I want, when I want. So it's Tuesday G1 fun day. <laughs> this week. Don't worry, before you go into the doomsday scenarios, there is some new toys coming. Don't worry, don't, 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 there's, there's gonna be some new stuff coming this week, so don't you worry your pretty little heads. It's, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. But... <laughs> I figured since I reviewed Snapdragon, we'll do Ape Face. Why not? There I say, why not? So here we have Ape Face, and here he is in his jet mode, and let's get in close. Yeah, so we're gonna take a look at the details. You have the nice nose cone there, Decepticon symbol. You have the transparent cockpit section. And again, it is pretty warm down here, so the rub sign does not need my help at all. It's already activated. There it is. Hey, look, he's a Decepticon. Are you shocked? You shouldn't be, but hey. And some more stickers. I'm pretty sure he's missing stickers as well, but hey. And he also needs to be a little better cleaned than what I did. I thought I cleaned him well, but no, there's still a lot of, like, caked up just stuff in there. I really have to give him a thorough cleaning, but it's okay. It's an old toy. It's been loved. It's all right. It's okay if he shows his age a little bit, but I got some stickers there. The stickers are kind of beat up. I have to get him some repro labels, too. You can see. Nice wingy goodness. And there's the back. The robot mode fists are just hanging out back there. Hey, you know, it is what it is. It's G1. Uh, you have the rolling wheels, so you can actually roll them around if you want to. <laughs> and for comparison, uh, here he is with his fellow Horicon Snapdragon. So, there you go. Now, before we continue on here, it's time to bring in once again the Bible. And if you open your Bibles to page 161, here we have Ape Face. Function, saboteur, motto, obnoxiousness is not a problem, it's an art. He's a bot after my own heart. I love him so much already. Thoroughly obnoxious, bounds loudly on his chest plates, insults everyone he talks to, knocks over anyone in his way, never changes his lubricant so he smells like a grease-encrusted turbo worm, and spits fuel in public, binary bonded to the nervous insecure nebulin spasma. In jet mode, maximum speed 3,250 miles per hour, emits powerful jamming frequencies in ape mode, has super agility in robot mode, carries electro shield and semi-automatic sonic boomer gun. So now that we know Ape Face's story here, let's talk a little bit more about Ape Face. So let's talk about accessories. He does include his gun, which I think is actually a pretty cool design for a gun. I like it. I like it. And you can store this if you want. There are ports here on the other side. You can just plug that right there. Just have that hanging out there if you want to. There you go. Storage, hooray for storage. And of course he does come with his headmaster. Here is Spasma. You can see, not too much to speak about detail-wise. He's got the belly button screw, the big old purple feet. Articulation-wise, you know, the arms can move. Legs can move forward and back. Knees can swing forward and back. He has a big ape face. <laughs> you know, you can do all kinds of that if you want to. And you can have Spasma here piloting ape face if you want. You can open up the cockpit. Just get him into a seated position, and just drop him down in there, close that up, and voila, they can whoosh! Making all kinds of whoosh. But, that is basically it for the jet mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's get back here. Get back here. 
So first let us remove the gun and we need to remove Spasma. Come here. Come here. Come here, I said. Resist me. Close it back up. And we also have to remove this section here. What? Parts forming? It's G1, of course, parts forming. Come on now. Come on now, seriously. <laughs> so once we've done that, now we can continue on. So the first thing we're going to do is take the wings and they just fold into the body like so. Take the nose cone. That just swings under and this whole assembly here will just unclip and fold onto the back. And you take these sections here, bring them forward, put down his little monkey feet. Bring that forward, bring down the monkey feet. The robot mode arms just kind of come up like that. You can kind of angle them back if you want to, so they're not as visible officially. They're supposed to just kind of stay up like that. Yeah, there. As always, you have to do what you want with it. And once we've done that, we just come to these sections here. We flip out his ape arms and his ape hands, which are more like hooks, but hey, whatever. Second verse, same as the first. Flip that out, flip that out, like so. Get him situated there, but now he is an ape without a face. Ape face has no ape face, so now we have to give him an ape face. So we just take Spasma here, fold him in half. There is the monkey head, and it will just clip in right here. And sometimes this can be a pain in the butt to actually get on. You gonna work with me? You're, hey, you worked with me today. There we go. And there you go. There you have Ape Face in his ape mode. And you know, it it, it, it kind of looks like what it's supposed to look like. You know, I mean, I mean, it, it, it gets to look across to a point. <laughs> hey, it's a G1 triple changer. What do you expect? You know, but hey, you know, you know. Let's take a look at Ape Face's Ape Face there. You can see the eyes done in red. The teeth are molded in and everything. A little riveting action there on the side. And then big old monkey arms with the hook hands. Really has like hook hands, but okay. Hey, I know it's supposed to be like fingers, but it's almost like a hook. There you go. There's your old monkey feet. Your monkey, monkey feet. Now, articulation wise, in ape mode, uh, the head doesn't do anything. The arms, they can rotate. Oh, nice ratchet. Kind of squeaky too. But hey, it's an old toy. Elbows. Uh, you only get like really one click of bend. Bends more the other way. Break his arm. Urgh. You know, have him do that. I don't know. The hands can move up and down. Legs can rotate there. You do have a knee. You can actually swing both ways if you need it to. And feet can move up. They can move down. They are on a ratchet there. A yeah, little bit of clickly clackly going on. So, you know. A little bit of posability in ape mode, a little bit. So you got that. Now, as far as uh, his accessories go, uh, uh, you can always just, you know, plug that there. Have a gun on his hip. I don't know. Put the shield there. Hey, whatever you want to do. You know, hey. It's a G1 toy, so most of the time if there's... Uh, Storage that makes sense. It's purely accidental, but you know, hey, you can do do what you do what you want. I don't say do do what you want. Just do do what you want with this stuff. <laughs> but <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that's for comparison. Here he is with Snapdragon in his Dino mode. So there you go. So now let's get down to robot mode, shall we? <laughs> oh, I really shouldn't do that. <laughs> that's, that's a little dangerous there. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. So to get to robot mode, we need to rip his head off, put that off to the side, and we just take all hands, fold them in, fold this in, and just swing this around like so. Same thing the other side. Swing it in. Swing that in, rotate that around like so, then we just kind of flip him around and we extend his legs, extend the legs, and here's the one issue that I have with mine is this, the hinge is really loose, so this doesn't stay up anymore, <laughs> just kind of, it just kind of flops, hey, 
I know you can tighten that up. I just haven't cared that much to actually do it. But anyway. And we just bring these sections back. Just bring this little monkey foot down. Extend the arm like so. And second row, same as the first. Just bring that up. Bring that down. Extend the arm. And here's my temporary solution for this. Is I just have some little, uh, some little sticky tack here. And I just do that. There you go. That holds it up. That's my temporary solution for that problem. <laughs> it does the trick. So anyway, we do have an ape face here without a face. And we open that up and we can see the spud strength. And we bring in the head, plug it in, plug it in. And voila, there you have his spud strength. You can see how much spud and strength he has. And there you go. There you have Ape Face in his robot mode. And hey, it's it's a G1 toy. It's blocky, it's awkwardly proportioned, but hey, it's a G1 toy and I love it regardless. So let's get in close here so we can take a look. Hey, you stand up, man. You stand. You stand because it's normal. There we go. Take a look at that face. You can see the face there done. In the silver, it's up to kind of symbol there on the chest. Some more stickers that really need to be replaced <laughs> on the forearms. Stickers there. Stickers on his hips there. No stickers on his toes. And looking at the back, you can see he has like a whole lot of backpack going on. Just a whole, whole lot of backpack going on. It's a whole lot of it. Now, articulation-wise, oh, the head does not do anything. Arms, they can rotate, and that is it. The legs, they can move up that far. You can do them high kicks. Back, not really far at all. He does have a knee joint due to transformation. He has a knee joint with full range of motion, so that's, that's nice. That's nice for a G1 toy, and that's it. That's as much as it moves. You know why? Because it's a G1 toy. But of course we can give him his weapons, give him his accoutrement. We can give him his gun. So we can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. We can also give him this shield here, which he can hold in his hand if you want him to. Or me personally, I plug it into his shoulder like that. That's what I do. But again, your toy. Display it however you wish. But there he is. All decked out. There you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with Snapdragon. And here he is with old Trigger Crotch G1 Megs. So, there you go. So there you have G1 Ape Face. Another oldie, but another goodie. Some good times with some old friends, so there you go. Now, as usual, if you want some G1 toys, you know, just, just look around. eBay, cons, garage sales, flea markets, whatever, just look around. But, of course, for your other Transformers needs, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com. There'll be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my G1 playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the G1 Ape Face. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. Snapdragon! Yes, Lord Megatron! What- what is this? What, this- this is our new ally! You brought some mangy monkey into my base as an ally? Yes, yes, he's actually, uh, quite valuable. But- 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 what- 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 what can he do? Well, he can... fling poo! Very far! He can fling poo! Very far! That could actually be useful. I'll allow it. <laughs> yes, yes, we all know where the trigger is. <laughs>